Resistance 20 to 35. Output. A combination of your resistance and your cadence and determines. Three, two, one. Well, good morning, my darlings. As you can tell, we managed to get the person working, managed to clip myself in. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that we got it all set up and I was so excited, but then I couldn't get the cleats to clip into the pedals. But after asking lots of friends who've got a Peloton last night and watching a few YouTube tutorials, I basically had to get myself into position and then have Charlie come and clamp my foot into the pedals. And it worked, so I've just done a 30 minute ride with the instructor named Olivia. I think I have actually done that ride before. It was in my favorite section. And as you can tell, it was a tough one. If any of you guys have got a Peloton, I promise I'm not gonna only talk about this from now on, although for the next few days, I'm obviously gonna be super excited about my new toy. Um, but if you have got one, feel free to add me as a friend. It's Josie LDN, same as my Instagram. I won't be putting the camera on. I won't be doing any rides <laughs> with the camera on with you guys. I'm sorry because, as you can tell, <laughs> I get sweaty. But if you want a challenge, then let's do it. Okay, so as you might be able to guess, I need to have a shower. I'm going to have a lovely pampering one. Might even pop a bit of fake tan on. And then it's time to start the day. Okay, hello again. Feeling and looking a little bit more like myself, albeit with very puffy, freshly dried hair. So, what is on the agenda today? Well, I need to film the try-on clips for the videos that I filmed um, yesterday. Close-ups. This afternoon is going to be a full afternoon of editing, so I'm looking forward to cozying down, popping the fire on and having an afternoon with my feet up. But before that, I have got a lot of try-on clips I need to film, and any other YouTubers will agree with me, it is the worst job. <laughs> it really is the worst job because it's so time-consuming, um, but it's got to be done, especially ahead of cyber week and then actually I'm gonna give myself a bit of a fun task of doing a bit of cyber week shopping as well but before I do my filming I need to embellish myself and I'm gonna be choosing a few of my favorite pieces from Ana Luisa a brand which I've mentioned many a times before I absolutely adore their pieces for many reasons which I will go into so I'm thrilled to be working with them on this part of the video so let's start with oh my gosh Let's start with earrings. No, let's start with necklace because I feel like with a v-neck jumper the necklace is often the most striking piece of jewelry the eye instantly goes to this area because it's so because it's so open within a v-neck so here are some of my Ana Luisa favorites both old and new a lot of these you'll recognize as part of my regular jewelry wearing pieces one of my favorite things to wear with a lovely feminine pink knit like this is just a simple pearl necklace you can also layer with these as well so I might pop a longer necklace with a bit of a pendant on with it but I think this is absolutely lovely it did actually come with, where is it in fact, a long chain with the pearl pendant which is one of my most worn necklaces and then there's also this thicker chain necklace. Actually maybe I'll wear that. Maybe this will look a little bit too, too prim and proper for the looks that I'm going for today. So I'm going to pop on the chain necklace. And then these are my new earrings from Ana Luisa. I love these. They, they reminded me when I first saw them of like a pack of cards, but actually I think they're more, more cool than that, let's say. So I'm really loving the style of earrings that are that are a small hoop. I find if a hoop is too big, it just really doesn't suit me, but these are a very dainty, small little hoop, and I love this star logo. One thing which I adore about Ana Luisa as a brand is that these pieces are beautiful quality, they use the finest noble materials, and yet you don't pay silly prices. Jewelry, I know from experience, has often a very, very high markup, but these pieces start from around the $39 mark, which is about 35 pounds, and yet you still get the most beautiful quality materials. And something else that I love about them, my hand feels really naked without a ring. <laughs> That's better, I love this one. It's very traditional, it's almost like a plait or like a woven effect. I just think it's so lovely, a great um, layering ring as well. So something else that I love about Ana Luisa is how sustainable they are as a company. Not only in the actual materials that they use for the jewelry, but overall, so they 100% carbon offset their materials, their manufacturing processes, which I think is very highly commended and 
It's something that a lot more companies should definitely aspire to do, so that's another reason why I adore them. And speaking of the Black Friday shopping that I'm going to be doing a little bit later, they have already launched their Black Friday sale, which is incredible. You can save even more on these already really well or fairly priced, I'm going to say fairly priced, jewellery pieces. So I'll leave that linked down below. I'll leave the overall sale page link down below as well as my favorite pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna pop on this necklace <clears throat> and my new mini hoop earrings. There we go, I am appropriately embellished. It's gonna take a little while for my fake tan to kick in. I'm still feeling a little bit um, transparent. I feel like at this time of year, my skin just feels I don't know, it just lacks any colour and it almost goes transparent, so I did put on some gradual tan this morning. Anyway, I think this necklace is really lovely, it's a very simple style. You could definitely add, gosh my hand looks like a claw, <laughs> you could definitely add your own charms to this, but I think it is a beautiful necklace for layering, so as I'm filming my videos later I might um, add a couple of additional pendant necklaces. My Anna Luisa Pearl one is a real favourite for combining with this one. And then the earrings, I just think they're so lovely. They're very delicate, very classic. They just go with all of your outfits. And I cannot even explain how similar these are to some earrings from other brands, which I have to say are about, well, at least six or seven times the price. You're getting amazing value with these. I absolutely love them. And the ring too. <laughs> So this is my starting outfit of the day. I love this cardigan so much. I'm really leaning to cardigans so much more this year than I ever have done before, and V-necks too. But I'm gonna end up getting changed a million times today with the filming that I need to do. So it's one of those tasks that, because I don't like doing try on clips, I could easily put off and put off and put off. So what I'm gonna do is download a good podcast, have that playing away in the background, and just go up to the dressing room and get cracking. Hello again, it is now a couple of hours later. I have done a lot of trying on. I actually had to curl my hair, I forgot, but when I filmed the first part, I did waves. So I had to recurl my hair um, so that there was a little bit more continuity. So it's been a couple of hours of trying on goodness knows how many outfits for the try on clips for my What's New in My Wardrobe video that'll be coming on Sunday. I did do a little bit of tidying up as I went along, I had podcasts playing in the background, so I had a little bit of entertainment. A few more bits to tidy up now, including all of my lighting and the tripods. It is light outside, as you can see, but it's a very miserable day. But I find that in smaller rooms, the ring light by itself is fine. But in here, this room does cast shadows, so if I have all of these lights on and the lights in my wardrobe then it's just absolutely perfect. So I've got to pop all of these away now. I want to give a shout out to this little corner, I know very very random. This is a candle that I featured in my beauty gift guide, the brand is Nudes, and this is the Overose candle. Not only is it absolutely beautiful, I think it's so chic, but this candle smells like the most heavenly fragrance I've ever smelt. I don't know if this brand is just a candle brand or if they do perfumes, but I would very much like to smell how this candle smells. It's like a very, very luxurious rose, but almost like an oody rose. And bearing in mind how massive this room is, I could actually smell this candle when I walked in, and it's not even lit. I could just smell it from all the way over there when I walked in. So yeah, love this. This is a vase that I got from H&M Home a little while ago, and then these are the silk roses that I got from one of my followers' companies called Shioda So. I also have some silk pajamas from them. So I thought it was a really lovely little background setup. Okay, I'm gonna rehydrate myself. I've bought up this water bottle. It's the only thing that actually keeps me drinking. I have actually already finished one of these today, especially because I did my spin first thing, that definitely helped. I um, got this from ASOS, I'll leave it linked down below. Ooh, I didn't try do any try on clips for the Chloe trainers. I'll do those quickly and then it's time to put everything away. this on my Instagram stories today, but I'm going to show you as well, just to further humiliate <laughs> Charlie. So yes, I do eat 
baby sweets. <laughs> this brand, Kitty Licious, they are so good if you just need a little bit of a sugar hit but you don't want anything too unhealthy. Anyway, so at around midday, I was like, oh, I'll just go and, you know, have a little look in the treats drawer and see what I can snack on because I'm starting to get a bit hungry. I need a bit of a sugar hit before I start filming. And I saw this box and I was like, oh yeah, Dalesford mince pies. Definitely craving one of those. Open the box and look, Charlie has not only demolished, finished every single one of these mince pies, but he left the empty box in the drawer just to tantalize me. I think that's very, very cool indeed. Just had some lovely lunch while my footage is importing into my iMovie. I have just realized that the past couple of days my camera has been on the wrong setting and I have filmed everything in square, including the whole of my What's New in My Wardrobe, the whole of my beauty gift guide video is filmed in square. And obviously this is widescreen, as are all YouTube videos that you watch, so I'm just hoping I can find a way to like hack it and crop it in my editing software, but I'm just such an idiot. I must have like bumped the spinny dial at the top of my camera. <laughs> I'm just so rubbish with technology. But anyway, we've just had some deliveries, including my weekly flower subscription from Arena, so I'm gonna um, prepare my flowers. And also quite a significant pile of PR mail, PR bits and bobs have just arrived. So after I've done the flowers, I will show you what is in my PO box today. Yes, Lin Lin Lin, little boy. Every song has an ending, every love is the same. Here we have this week's delivery from Arena Flowers. So the first bunch that I put together was this one and it doesn't look that striking yet, but it will do. So these are the most beautiful peach amaryllis flowers. I actually had to pop um, like wooden sticks up inside them, inside the stalks, which are kind of hollow. Um, and that's, they were in the box with the Arena Flowers and that's because amaryllis, when they bloom, they can be so big they actually can be really heavy so it can snap them and then some eucalyptus as well so i'll probably need to rearrange this when they do bloom and then the bouquet this week is this really vivid in the camera it's looking a bit pink but in real life it is very much red i might change the settings i don't know if that looks any different i've just changed the settings a little bit these are actually the most beautiful deep like crimson red i think it's because of the lighting in here where it's so dark outside they look a little bit pinky but then it's also a little bit festive with some pine cones, um, some berries and some grasses in there as well. Just a lovely, lovely bouquet. This would be a gorgeous gift to send to someone, something to bring along to someone's house. If you are being hosted anywhere, absolutely beautiful delivery from Arena Flowers. Okay, I thought I would just come and sit down here <laughs> to do a little bit of a a PR blogger mail unboxing. I know not everybody likes seeing these, but a lot of you do. So if you don't like PR unboxings, feel free. Yes, the cupboard's open. There we go. Feel free to skip this next, I would say, 10 minutes. Okay. Ah, this is the loveliest delivery. So this is from one of the businesses that I featured in my small business gift guide, the gift guide, which was um, made up of products from your businesses. So it's from the Old Flower House, at Old Flower House on Instagram. Hi Josie, here's a little thank you gift for choosing to feature me on your small business vlog. I think I can speak for all small businesses when I say, when someone with your following chooses to shop small and help promote us, it really makes a huge difference. Enjoy your first Christmas in your lovely new home. Love, Alex. <laughs> what a lovely, lovely message. When I get things like this, I've started to pin them inside one of the beams in my dressing room. I'll show you one day. And it's just an area of things that warm the cockles, as they say, so, so lovely. And Alex has sent over the loveliest gift. So this feels almost like a biscuit, but it's not. It is the very much um, non-edible Christmas tree charm. And it says, first Christmas at the old rectory 2020. 
How lovely is that? So this is the kind of Christmas tree decoration that will go on the Christmas tree that we get in the family room when we get that, which will probably be in December, which will be a real tree, because we like to have a tree with really personal decorations on. That's the only type of decoration we've done in the past, but this year we've got a few trees and she's also sent little Dexter and Dickens bones as well. How cute is that? So you can get all of these lovely pieces as well as gorgeous little makeup bags and things like that from Old Flower House. I'll leave them linked down below again. The next lovely delivery was from L'Occitane. There's a little note here. A festive pick-me-up from us to you to celebrate the launch of L'Occitane's new dial and deliver service, launching nationwide. Well, it'll be live now by the time you're watching this. A complete shopping experience from advice to personalization to delivery, all from the comfort of your own home. To receive tailored expert advice on your favorite L'Occitane products, as well as gifting and personalization. Oh, and even gift wrapping and handwritten cards. That is so lovely. Such a good idea. Such a fabulous idea at this time of year. And oh, these are so perfectly wrapped. It feels like Christmas has come early. Such lovely little gifts. Now, do I save these for Christmas? Or do I open them now? That smells amazing. I think this might be a candle. Look how gorgeous this wrapping is. This is such a simple yet lovely way of wrapping. That's a little bit of lavender. Craft paper, so much more um, easily recyclable. And then some string. If you didn't watch my small business gift guide, you may not know that wrapping paper with any kind of glitter or any kind of glossy finish on it is not recyclable and it actually contaminates all of your recycling so try to find recyclable um, wrapping paper this year if you even use wrapping paper charlie and i like to give each other gifts in sacks you can even i mean you can buy festive sacks but you can also obviously use like old um what's the word like dust bags, that kind of thing. You could even do a kind of at home printing or embroider them or something to make it really lovely. Oh, yes, haha, <laughs> it is a candle, I was right. Ooh, I've not seen this range before. Aromacology, Source de Harmonie, a bougie harmon harmonisante harmony candle. I think bougie is French for candle. So it's bougie, harmonisante, forward slash harmony candle. This smells incredible. Oh, that is so chic. That is very chic. That will look really nice next to the flowers I've just put together. How gorgeous is that? Mm, that's not a festive scent. That's like a, oh, kind of what you would want a spa to smell like. Oh. As soon as lockdown is lifted, I'm going to get the Ruby app to come back here and do another at-home massage because that was so lovely and that is what I will be lighting. And another beautifully wrapped gift and again, um, craft paper, this time with a red ribbon, some red and white string, a little label and a little charm. Another fabulous, more sustainable gift wrapping idea that looks so beautiful. It says, open me, I'm personalised. I've also just realised that this has been wrapped without sellotape. I really need to learn how to do that. I think this is the almond body lotion that I love. Oh my God! They have personalized the lid with my name and a little heart. Can you see that? Don't know if that'll be the right way around for you. And this is, if you like the smell of almonds, and I love the smell of almonds. Oh, oh my God. Something quite nostalgic about that smell. It just sends me back to my youthful days. Perfect timing as well because my Elizabeth Arden um, eight hour intensive body lotion ran out this morning. I used up the last of it. So I'll be swapping it in with the lovely L'Occitane almond body lotion. Hello, big boy. Oh, two little boys. They just charged in here. Okie dokie. Up next. This is another gift from a brand that I featured in my small business gift guide. It's very naughty, very naughty. And it is from Nice Cream that they have just launched. I saw Lydia um, got a pair of these as well and she was raving about how soft they are, oh my goodness. These are the Sweet Slippers. <laughs> Gently brush with a dog brush to keep them fluffy and maintain their structure. 
the most gorgeous slippers. I love a good pair of slippers. As you know, it's all I wear at the moment. And these, this lighting is not the best to show you, but they're an off-white. I think they call these the pearl shade, like the subtlest hint of pink. I'm gonna put these on right now. Oh my goodness me. That is so soft. Oh. <gasps> I featured the Nice Cream London um, cashmere socks in my gift guide, but these slippers would be as good a gift, depending on who you're buying for. So I had a lovely <laughs> blogger mail from, can you stop bashing the footstool please? From Corksicle, sorry if you can hear doggies growling in the background. And it's so funny because I actually purchased one of these for myself from Anthropology, and it has like a flower pattern on it. Because, like right now, I've actually just had to microwave my coffee, but I thought if I start to make my coffees in a thermal mug, and put the yeah. lid on. <laughs> then hopefully it'll keep my coffee warm because someone left a comment on um, one of my recent videos saying that when you microwave stuff, apparently it like makes the bacteria multiply. It makes bacteria multiply. Right. Sure they kill bacteria. That's what I thought. But anyway, it made me think maybe I need to stop microwaving my coffee quite so much. So if I make my coffee in a thermal mug, it'll just be amazing. And I can carry it up the stairs and not have to worry about it spilling because it has a little lock and also when Soho Farmhouse opens again I can take this in the car with me and not have to worry about spillage but they also sent little hot chocolate makers oh my goodness so these are from Wittard Wittard does the best like spice chai tea and everything like that they are full-on hot chocolate in a box so you get the wooden spoon with the chocolate at the bottom and even little marshmallows to go on top so I know what I'll be having later and then the final delivery Char, look how cute this is. This is from one of the businesses in the small business gift guide. They sent this as a thank you. And it says, first Christmas at the old directory. That's awesome. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's awesome. Such a good little gift idea. Okay, the final delivery for now, I mean, it's only three o'clock, there might still be more later on today, is from, now please feel free to correct my pronunciation here. The brand is, I've heard some people say les boys, les girls, but I guess it's meant to be French, so les boys, les girls, I, that's how I would pronounce it, but I don't know how you do that without sounding like a plonker. Anyway, so they are like loungewear, pyjamas, um, underwear, and Charlie's not going to approve of these, but oh my goodness. <laughs> Charlie just raised his eyebrows at these. I love a pair of seamless underwear that's comfortable. So I chose those in beige. And then, this is for those days when you're like wearing loungewear at home. This, I think I will get so much wear out of. It's the same material, really lightweight. Um, and it's like a little seamless brassier in this blush pink color. Literally no design detail apart from the little Le Boys, Le Girls logo down here. I love this shade, it's like a peachy pink. That is gonna be seriously comfy. This was the reason for the delivery. So they have just launched a new range of pajamas. Again, perfect timing for gifting. I chose this gray leopard print pair, pair set of pajamas and they have matching long legs as well. Now I think this is cotton but it almost has a bit of a sheen to it, a bit of a silky sheen to it. I feel like treating yourself to a new pair of pyjamas at this time of year is just absolute perfection. So they are rather lovely. And then the last thing in here, oh my goodness, this is a pair of their tracksuit bottoms and it is in this most incredible raspberry shade. That is bright, that is vivid, oh my goodness. Having a pair of loose tracksuit bottoms like this is especially handy just broken a nail on fabric tracksuit bottoms. Especially handy for potentially putting on over your gym leggings when you're going to the gym. If you are having to like leave your house, get into a car or walk to the gym, popping a pair of lovely tracksuit bottoms on like this over your gym leggings, which let's face it, are not warm, is a great hack. That's what I used to do last year. Walking to the gym from our little house in Clapham. It was a good 20 minute walk to the gym and that's what I would do. So that is this morning's deliveries. Actually, these have arrived over the last couple of days, but I thought I would share that with you. 
You are a funny little boy, Chick Chick. Why are you sitting up there? Mummy and Daddy spend so long plumping up these cushions only for doggies to come and squash them. Oh. Darlings, I am now in situ. I have got two little doggies surrounding me. I've got Dexy here. I've got Chicky who's actually snoring. Oh, Dexter just kicked me. <laughs> Clearly wasn't giving him enough attention. Basically, this is gonna be my setup for the next probably five hours. No, it's 4.30 now, 5.36, at least three hours because I have got a lot of editing to do and some videos which I know are gonna be really time consuming. Um, at least three videos, maybe four. I need to just try and get a little bit ahead. So I think I'm actually gonna end this part of the vlog here and pick it up again tomorrow because nothing else exciting is gonna happen today. I don't want the pressure of making exciting things happen for the sake of the vlog. So I'm gonna turn this into a two day vlog. Thanks to the videos that I have been a busy bee filming, I can allow myself to have a two day vlog and still keep to my upload schedule. So darlings, I will see you bright and early, maybe in the morning. Good morning, my darlings. It is now the next day. You wouldn't be able to tell because I'm wearing the exact same outfit because why not? I'm having a makeup free morning. I've just got loads of skincare on, infusing my skin with serums because I wore quite a lot of makeup yesterday for the filming. I wanted to show you behind the scenes. We are doing a little bit of shooting in the entrance hall today. Ooh, and that's a DPD delivery. And a very exciting entranceway update. We now have a charnwood stove in the entrance area, in the most, what I think is the most amazing fireplace in the house. So, oh. So this is now what you see when you walk in. I think it looks so, so cozy. And this is chucking out so much heat. When you consider this is about half the size of the stove in our family room, and this area is pretty massive. And there's also obviously the stairway up there. It is really beautifully heating this area because before we got underfloor heating sorted, this area of the house was absolutely freezing. I'm not sure if the light is gonna be as spectacular on the camera, but the whole kitchen is lit up in gold because the sky, well, it's really not as dramatic on camera, but this is all golden in real life. Oh my goodness. Look at it reflected on the marble table. Wowza. Hello my darlings. I have not updated you much today because it has mostly been a very boring day of editing. However, I do have a few very exciting updates to share with you. But on another note, how lovely and festive does this area look with the garlands illuminated? I think with all the editing I've done today, I'm about four days ahead with my video schedule, which is great news because um, next week is Cyber Week, which is always my busiest week of the whole year. So it's gonna be nice to be a little bit ahead with the old videos. But anyway, the home updates for you. So I did give you a little sneak peek of this earlier but this is now a little bit tidier in here our new amazing charnwood stove in the entrance area so we're talking to charnwood about we were talking to charnwood about which design to get and we were debating one that looks a little bit more old-fashioned not 100 percent sure I, th I do quite like the contrast between the slightly more modern looking stove and the really old fireplace and surround but it wouldn't be a huge stress to swap it for a different um slightly more old-fashioned one so I'm very interested to hear your thoughts i do like how it looks with the armchair there i'm not actually going to show <laughs> show you any further down here because this area is a bomb site where i've been busy the last couple of days filming um, and we've had quite a lot of deliveries <laughs> it's just super duper messy got lots of logs stacked up ready to burn as well. And then, we have another update, oh my goodness. So we had kind of dreamt about this ever since we moved in. In case you can't tell what's new in here, it is another stove. We now have a Charnwood stove in the master bathroom. I mean, how epic 
is that going to be on a really frosty winter morning or winter evening having a bath with a stove crackling away that to me is just <laughs> absolute perfection the kind of thing that normally you only get to experience at very lovely country hotels this bathroom feels like the kind of bathroom you'd find at time or the pig or something and i just love it i believe this is called the charnwood country stove which is very appropriate it's got um it's a very nice little cute mini one it was lit about four hours ago to like test it and it's still radiating so much heat oh i can hear yeah there's still a few embers in there it is gloriously warm and the almond color of course is just beyond perfect for this room okay so i am now going to take off my makeup have my early evening pamper charlie's having salmon for his dinner which means i'm gonna have mac and cheese but i'm gonna, gonna do a peloton i'm gonna do a 30 minute peloton first and then um go and make it to some people that might be totally bonkers like josie you're gonna go and burn loads of calories and then put it all back on again but to me the peloton means i deserve the mac and cheese they cancel each other out so the mac and cheese isn't actually bad that's my logic and let's face it i was gonna have a mac and cheese anyway so at least if i did the peloton then i've earned it yes <laughs> that is that's the logic i'm gonna go with so i'm gonna take my makeup off um i'm not sure if it's better to have nothing on your face or just put a light hydrating serum on when you do the workout. Maybe I'll just put my lightest serum, which is... Uh, 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 I will... How nice does this look, all my lovely pink skincare? I'm very lucky that all my favourite skincare at the moment just happens to be beautiful, whether it's the lovely Cordially Resveratrol Lift range. This has become my daily moisturiser and eye cream. In fact, I use this one, Firming Eye Gel in the Evenings from Cordially, and I use the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity in the Mornings. Got my Elizabeth Arden Retinol capsules, um, some by Terry bits over here, fresh. What did I come in here for? Oh yeah, oh yes, my Shantikai Rose Cleansing Balm. Do you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna take my makeup off with this now. And then, oh, these are so gorgeous. The Shantikai Rose Oil, used that last night. It was glorious, but I'm gonna pop the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum on my skin after I've cleansed. I feel like that won't be too heavy for my workout, but if there's anyone more knowledgeable than I and can recommend something better or recommend nothing at all to have on my skin while I do a workout, feel free to let me know. Feel free to educate me. Oh, and after my shower, I cannot wait to slather myself in the L'Occitane Almond Body Lotion. Anyway, okay, let's take off the makeup. Wow, did I ever think I would come on YouTube looking like this? No, I did not. Well, as you might be able to tell from my disgustingly glowing complexion, that was, uh, I think that was the hardest I have ever, ever worked out. Oh my gosh, I need to like lean. I need to lean. So that was my first ever live Peloton. And I'm gonna turn the screen off. Oh, that might not be quite so disgusting. So that was my first ever live peloton. I didn't even plan to do this. I got on the bike at about 5.30 p.m. UK time um, and it said that in 40 seconds there was gonna be a live Beyonce class <laughs> and it was the trainer um, called Ali Love who apparently has a YouTube channel so I'm gonna check it out in a second. Um, and it was a 30 minute ride, hill ride, so lots of like high resistance, slow spinning, and then low resistance, really fast spinning, which was pretty intense. All to Beyonce songs, which is just so motivating. And then because it was live, there was a leaderboard on the side as well. There were, I think, 470 other people doing the ride. And for most of it, I'm pleased to say I was in position number 12 of 470 people. At one point I was in the top 10, which is insane, but I had my resistance at like the, the higher end of the spectrum. So basically on Peloton, 
you on your screen you have like a range that you can be within so a range for your speed for example between speed 80 to 110 and then you have a resistance range as well so for example between 30 and 40 and I was always trying to be at the maximum of the resistance because I always try and do the max resistance I can because when I'm spinning I feel like I need to spin to the beat of the music so like one two one two like I'm very in tune to to beats of music so if I'm, my resistance is high then I can stick to the music as long as I'm within the range this might make no sense whatsoever so yeah I managed to stay within the top like 12 the whole time which is amazing all to Beyonce songs and then the cool down was to Halo which is one of my favorite songs of all time and the trainer Ali was just not preaching but like saying the most inspiring things about looking after yourself always having a hand to help others put your neighbor's crown on if they forget to wear it you know just kind of the, the sort of stuff that makes you really emotional when you've just gone through a 30 minute very intense workout with 470 other people so that was epic I feel really really good I feel very glowing I feel very sweaty huge <laughs> shout out to wild deodorant because I do not smell in fact I smell amazing which is incredible considering it's a natural deodorant oh my goodness I need to get in the shower and then bring back those calories with a mac and cheese <laughs> So here it is, my dinner, my lovely mac and cheese. If I can find it, I'll leave the vlog link down below, which has got my recipe. Although we had some different cheeses left over. I think one of them is going to be quite a nutty cheese. So there's no cheddar in this, just um, that nutty, like a local nice Cotswold cheese and Parmesan. I've mentioned this before, but excuse Charlie's salmon dish. He's obviously having a healthy dinner tonight. Whenever I have mac and cheese, I have to have a cold Ribena with it. It's one of my little quirks, but I always have to have that combination in my lovely tray, which I've got a little bit of flour on. So darlings, I'm gonna end the vlog with this lovely sight because we all know what happens when I eat a macaroni and cheese. Thank you for watching. I will see you in I will see you in the next one.